Hi everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets Plus and today I wanted to bring you a visual of an update that is in the version 4.5 of the Silhouette Studio software. This update has some changes in it, but this video specifically is going to cover changes for the Curio machine owners and the Alta owners. In the version 4.5, they have changed where the emboss panel and the Alta tools are located. So I wanna give you a brief glance into that. Now, I understand that with the Curio, as I record this video, the Curio machine itself is no longer manufactured. It has been out since 2015, and it has had a long lifespan in terms of cutting machine models. It is still a great machine. Many, many users, thousands of people, still own Curios, and they still work. So I want you, before you panic and think that they took it out of the software, because that's exactly what I did when I first saw this change when I was beta testing, um, I wanted to bring this to you so you know that the options are still there. They're just in a different location now. So I wanna share the screenshots and explain to you how it is different. So if you own a Curio, then you can still use your Curio to make fabulous projects. And I have more information in the description below on the Curio classes I do offer and other information on the Curio that's on my website as well. So the Curio is still able to be used, but I wanna make sure you know where you can find that. Now, if you don't own a Curio, there are still plenty of Curios some that are still in the box and have never been opened. You can still find those used, whether that's on Marketplace, a local yard sale group, um, or on a Facebook group where you could find a post about curio machines. I have a specific post where people are buying and selling curios on my Facebook group, the Silhouette Secrets with Ellie May group. So you can still find curio machines and most times, those curio machines are still in excellent condition. They may not always have all the parts, but you have to look at that very closely, just like you do anytime you buy something used. Um, but they are still good machines and can still be used to create fabulous things. I love my curio machines and they will still be used for many years to come. So I wanna share this with you. So in your software, if you are using version 4.5 or higher. So if I go up here to help, and then about Silhouette Studio, for a Mac user, it's under Silhouette Studio in the top left corner, and then about. You're going to find your software information. So my software version, I am currently on a beta version, but first here, I wanna say, you do not have to update. Whatever software version you are currently using, that is just fine. However, if you do update or in the future down the road, when you update to version 4.5 or higher, this change is going to be in effect. So I don't want you to panic. So I am currently using 4.5. The other numbers don't matter at the moment because I'm on a beta version. I'm gonna click okay. You are going to find that the, there is a new icon up here directly below your page setup panel. Now, you saw my version number. This is where it's at in this current version. Cross my fingers that they're not going to move it, but they haven't moved it since they in, we've been testing it in the beta software and have asked about it. So hopefully it stays there. There's a new icon here that's called Machine Features Panel. If I click on that, it is a specialty tools panel. This is where you're going to find your Curio tools. So you have your emboss, deboss icon, you have score and emboss panel, and you have your print and emboss panel. Those are all Curio specific um, panels. Then for Alta owners, you also have this 3D icon, which is where you'll find your Alta options. So we now have this new icon. Again, it's the second icon down from the top right, directly below your page setup panel. If you move your mouse over those panels, you'll get a little pop out that tells you what those panels are. In my software version, it currently says, open the machine features panel. And then when I click on that, it opens the specialty tools panel. 
Now, here is a screenshot from an older software version prior to version 4.5. So anything before 4.5, you are going to find your embossed tools located on the right hand side and it looks like a star. If you have a smaller screen, then you have less icons that show up on the right hand side. You may need to click the little triangle on the bottom right and then you'll get a flyout menu with more icons. So this is for the older software versions. Again, you do not need to update and actually at the time of this recording, I am not encouraging people to update unless they absolutely have to. Four reasons you would have to are because you have the Silhouette Auto Sheet Feeder. You have to use a version of 4.5. But for most users, I am still recommending a version of 4.4.554. Say that three times fast because I just had to. <laughs> Um, all the software numbers can get confusing, but if you do have questions, you can always ask on the Silhouette Secrets with Ellie Mae Facebook group. And we do ask you some questions because it's not always a cut and dry answer. Um, when we get asked about updates, we first ask if you're having issues and what version you are currently on. If you aren't having any issues and you don't have a specific reason to update, you may not need to update or um, if you are a Mac or Windows user, um, that makes a difference in what we might advise on the best version, or if you, which silhouette models you have. Um, the machine model does make a difference. Curio owners, you can use any version clear back into, you know, very far legacy versions all the way to 2015, if that's the only factor. Other, factors play into it, such as computer operating systems, Windows or Mac, and your specific circumstances. So there's, it's really not a cut and dry, but we do take into account which machine models you need. For instance, for Cameo 4 users, you have to use a certain software version of a level of this or higher. So we take that all into account when we are advising what the best software version we would recommend for you is. Um, so you don't need to update now, but if you have already, or if you do in the future, I wanted to let you know where that new Curio embossing panel is located. Hope this has helped you. Have a great day. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you.